Hi, I'm Jiren. Today we'll try to answer the question, why should you follow your heart? So when I'm trying to answer this question, I remember one of the following questions. For example, why do you need to connect your TV to electricity? Or what is the connection between Google and searching engines? Or why Tesla need batteries? When, I'm, when, I, when I looked at the people around me, I know that about 80% of the people are working in jobs they don't want. When I see children born from broken stories everywhere, when I look at the people and they, how they fall one by one into depression and lack of appreciation for life, when I look at my world afar, how it is going, where it is going, I feel so sad because the place where I live in has become a terrible place. We are not able to feel each other anymore. I'm not able to accept that my children will grow up in a world centered about money and things, in a world that does not recognize our freedom, does not recognize the facts that define our identity as a human beings, living here on this beautiful planet for millions of years. Since we were created on this beautiful planet, and our existence has depended on our ability to live in groups, this is how we are able to survive along the millions of years we spent here on this planet without electricity, without technology, without aircrafts, without internet, without TikTok, without Facebook. And uh, I'm feeling bad because we are not able to keep and remember the reason behind our existence. Have you ever asked yourself how long we lived here before the alphabet was invented? How we are able to communicate each other without a language? We have always been able to feel each other, to connect each other, even without a language, even without WhatsApp. This ability born with us, it is part of our genetics and our identity as human beings which we are trying to deny these days when we become more advanced and invented some aircrafts, the internet, we get the access to space and other universes, our appreciation for life and the values that define our existence as human beings decreased. So it is your turn to look at the wall around you and we, how we have designed it. It's centered about the desire of possession. Politicians want you to be a tool to believe their lies. Media tells you the story they want you to believe. The education system prepare us to ensure the continuation of this system. Your chef wants you to work as hard as possible to achieve his glory. Companies keep pushing you to spend what you have on your wallet, looking at the people as a hung of cheese trying to eat the biggest piece of it. Is, is, is this the world you want to grow up in? The world is consuming us. Everything we've made is consuming us. So this is the rule. If you don't consume life, it will consume you. And unfortunately, this is, this is the law we've made ourselves. This is the law we designed. This is the world we generated. And now we have to solve our mistakes. So if you don't consume life, it will consume you fast and greedily as a can of Pepsi. Is this the world you want your children to grow up in? Is this the world you want to prepare for the next generations? If you don't follow your heart, you will find yourself with the wrong wife, at the wrong job, with the wrong friends, on the wrong path, 
your life is being wasted. Do you know what is the only absolute truth on this life? What is the truth that you should not, you must not ignore and forget, just death. Which means you have only one chance, one opportunity, and it is your option to use it or waste it. So, it is a big mission. It is not easy to be done alone and everyone can some way help. It is your turn to help, to stand up, to rebuild the future because the future is made of people who decide to face it, who decide to engage with it. Because the life is not just a passing time, it is connections, feelings, reactions and actions. This is the life. Our civilization turns into a cancer spreading in all directions without conscious. Is this what you want? Is this... That is killing us slowly, day after day, a moment after a moment. Stand up as one man for one movement to build our future again, to return to our nature, to come back to our humanity. It is the time to say, stop, enough. It is the time to come back to our history. It is the time to come back to the reason behind our existence, our survivors along the millions of years we spent here on this planet. Thank you very much for watching and visit the website I've made a few days ago to contact me, to write how can you help. You write me your ideas and how can you help. Everyone can help. We, this is our responsibility to ensure and prepare the future for our children, for the next generations. Stand up. Don't wait. Don't wait for for the sadness in the eyes, for, for the children, for, for everything you love. This is our war. If you don't care about it, no one would do. If you don't care about our planet, who's going to care about it?